Oh, hey. Hi, guys. What's up? This is Doc. And I'm chilling here in my test world. And yeah, today I want to show you a brilliant 1.13 AFK fish farm design. I would say by far the best design out there, the most compact, uh, the most reliable. It actually works on servers, not like other designs that were recently published. Um, this is 100% reliable and super simple to do. I want to give big shout outs to Warbin. I will link his channel in the video description with another alternative design, even a smaller one, but he needs an armor stand for this uh, farm setup. So credits to Warbin. He figured that out. Really make sure to check it out. He really does good stuff. Um, a lot of uh, interesting videos in Minecraft and also a lot of code digging. So he's one crucial member of the tech community, but you don't hear so much about him. So I thought let's feature this guy because, you know, he's doing good stuff. So yeah, how does it work? This is an AFK fish farm. As we can see, I was just fishing for like one minute trying it out. Um, how it works is pretty much um, you walk up to it toss your bobber onto the pressure plate and then you just aim somewhere on the note block somewhere back there hold right click and then you know put some weight on your mouse or unplug your mouse to keep it afk uh, you know fully afk so you don't have to hold anything yeah and uh, you just saw it trigger so pretty much what happens if a fish um, gets caught the pressure plate in front of us triggers uh, moves down the iron trapdoor in the back that breaks the line of sight for a short second Resets everything and you keep on going. I just tried it out on the hermitcraft server because often with fish farms like that um, You know, they're not server friendly. This thing works a hundred percent on servers um, Yeah, for example, I tried the design Sizuma void showed like I don't know Yesterday or so this doesn't his design doesn't work on servers and it's extremely finicky to operate So yeah, this is far superior Extremely good design So yeah, this is how you operate it. You just stand there, you know click and fish and it works 100% Every time so yeah, let's do a very quick tutorial on how to build this thing It is actually really easy, but it is also quite dark so let's change that. Um, let's make it a bit brighter. So it is really simple. Let's say you want to have chests or whatever, you know, your chest array. You just put that somewhere, connect the chests, and then you make sure you point the hopper in that. So that is connected. Next thing you need is a simple fence post and you make a hole right below behind it. Now you create a waterlocked block like this and the water flows back there you can fish in a waterlocked block and then yeah pretty much just a pressure plate on top you take a note block put it right behind helper block and then you put your um, you know trapdoor on like that so it actually sits on top and that's actually it it literally is like five items to build it and it takes like a minute and that's the most powerful farm in minecraft right now i don't know the whole afk fish farming it is powerful but yeah, here we go. We just set that up. Let's try it for one go. Let's see if it resets. Boom. And we already caught a fish. So yeah, this is how that works. This is by far the most simple, most reliable and most easy to build uh, fish farm. I don't think this, this can be beaten. So yeah, if you want a reliable and good design, build this one. Um, no hate for Zizuma. His design works, of course, really well in single player, but it's still there finicky to operate. But it also works. Um, alternative designs. It's always good to have alternatives. All right. So in any case, thank you very much for watching. Once again, whoa, where am I? <laughs> I'm trapped in here. Big shout outs to Warbin. Make sure to check him out. Thank you very much for watching. i see you next time. Bye.